Due to our yesterday's Friday feature not being able to post, I decided I would come at you with yet another fill-in video to make up for not having a feature on Friday. So without further ado, here is a rant, kind of also a story time, about a crazy experience. What's up? It's your girl Lucy here. Welcome back to my channel and I hope you're in for a fun ride because today's story time is going to be something that I never really thought would happen to me. I love kids. I've never would... Ugh. Let's just stop. So, yeah, the story of how I got CPS called on me takes place um, in a distant land far, far away. No, I'm kidding. It takes place in my high school town a couple years ago before I graduated high school. So some of you may have noticed in one of my other videos, I, sh I held up a picture of me in my cheer uniform. And it's also in my channel trailer and like the little blip at the end of every single video. There's like that little like half second of me holding my thing. Yeah, used to be a cheerleader um, and it wasn't for school actually. I was never involved in my high school uh, extracurriculars, but I did a competitive cheer, which means we competed as like a team that did a routine and then we would go out and compete against other teams that were performing as teams. So uh, about the time that I turned maybe 15 or 16, my coach's daughter was graduating high school and my coach needed someone to like kind of fill in for her and help coach. And I had been in cheer for four or five years at that point and I was the oldest around I think um, and the most available obviously. So my coach actually hired me to help her uh, coach two of her other teams and a tumbling team. And by mean help, I really mean that my coach was a very like busy woman and she was always working with the parents making sure that like she had one-on-one -on -one time with each and every face and so I was left alone with the team a lot of the times and the parents would just be watching me and the team. Which is fine and good. Most parents didn't have a problem with it. There was a couple occasions where our parents walked out of the gym because there wasn't a real coach present. So people did have like their problems with it but for the most part the moms knew me and they trusted me and they knew that I knew what I was doing. So tryout seasons come around and all sorts of new people are in the gym so I'm responsible for little kids of all ages that I don't even know. Now I'm in charge of them while my, well, like I'm helping them learn how to try out. And we had this one girl and her mom, and the girl was the sweetest thing ever, and she worked really hard. And her mom was kind of like the chatty gossip type, which is a very common trait with cheer moms, and we deal with a lot of drama in cheer, and my coach was super good at diffusing problems like that and talking things out. But for whatever reason, talking things out did not work for this mom. She just kept making inappropriate comments, you know, racial slurs, saying really inappropriate stuff to the kids. And at first they were willing to deal with it, but once she started hitting, you know, territory like slurs and stuff that like you really just can't get away with, they were like, look, we're sorry, but you and your daughter, we're not going to allow you to be on this team because of the way you're behaving. Um, and we're sorry. And we all felt really bad for the little girl that she had to suffer for the actions of her mom, but I mean, it happens sometimes. So the day of tryouts come and I'm in my coach's house because her gym was attached to her house at the time and we are preparing for the tryouts and I'm looking over score sheets asking them kind of if I have the right gist of what I'm doing and how to score and whatnot and they're like yeah yeah you're good you're good and then all of a sudden my coach walks in like her face looks red and she just got off the phone and she's like so CPS might be calling you and I was like wait CPS what like when have I ever mistreated a child in my life I love kids like what apparently this mom was mad that we kicked her out and so she called CPS on me because earlier in the day I was helping her daughter with tumbling and she wasn't doing her form correctly and so she landed on her face and she called CPS to report me throwing kids to the ground. Throwing kids to the ground. And so my coach kind of gives me a rundown of what happened. She was like, she saw what happened in practice today when you were spotting her and her daughter fell on her face and I was like, well, she didn't have proper form, that's not my fault, like, I'm sorry. And my coach was totally on my side, and she was like, honestly, I think CPS realized she was, you know, you know, kind of a crazy lady, and was trying to tell her that she is the problem, so you might not even get a call, but in case you do, definitely beware. So, five minutes before tryouts, and I found out that I have CPS called on me, 
and she's mad because she thought a professional was going to be coaching her daughter and it was just me, which like is fair that you're paying for your kid to come to tumbling and I'm the one that's there, but also like I was just a co-coach. It wasn't only me that was there for tumbling. I was like kind of the main coach for like team practices, but at tumbling practices there was me and there was another lady that we had brought in from an all-star gym helping coach. So this mom was fully aware that I was just like a, a, an assistant. Like she, I don't know why she lied about and saying that like I said that I was some professional when I'm not. So we try to brush it off. We get to tryouts and my coach gets a phone call from this mom saying that she's going to show up with a sheriff and a gun and all this stuff to our tryouts and demand her money back and demand to be let back in and blah blah blah. She's telling the town that we are this awful gym and that we don't know how to run anything and we are angry and aggressive and blah 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 and she's the one calling us threatening to show up so we have all of the big scary cheer dads drive their trucks out to her entrance to her driveway and just block it off and we call the police from a couple streets over because they lived you know in the same neighborhood and they come and they're guarding my parents live about 20 minutes away from the gym so I called my dad and I was like look I really, really need you at the gym right now. It's kind of an emergency. Um, I can't explain it now because tryouts are about to begin, but when you get here, um, you can talk to my coach's husband and she'll fill you in. And he was like, all right, do I need a gun? And I was like, you might. <laughs> so <laughs> we had all these guys, they were blocking the entrance and tryouts end and we go out to the end of the driveway and only to find out that she never showed up like after all of this she just drops it and never showed up what she just never showed up which I guess is fine like it's better that it was it handled not violently in front of you know tons of kids but she had all of us scared and worried and she was threatening us and all this stuff only for her to be a no-show so it was a really scary experience for me, also probably for my kids, they probably had no idea what was going on, probably for the other moms, the other moms didn't know what was going on, my parents were scared, but in the end everything ended up being okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I'm sorry it was kind of an anticlimactic ending, um, unfortunately I can't help that things unfold in my life the way that they do but if you like this video feel free to comment below ask for more talk to me let's be friends my socials will be in the description box and i hope you all have a wonderful day don't get cps called on you <laughs> have you ever failed are you listening damn Please.